Thank you, God, for the gift of life. Today is actually the 4th of September, 2020. Thank you for the gift of life. It is awesome, the 4th of September, 2020. It is awesome, it is marvelous, it is wonderful. All I want to say is thank you, Jesus. Um, as 1034 said, then Peter began to speak. And I realized how true it is that God does not show favoritism. Yes, Lord. Luke 4, 16 says, He went to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And on a Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue. As was his custom, he stood up to read. And Matthew 2, 1 says, After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. Thank you, awesome God. You are marvelous. You are wonderful. You are amazing, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Je Jesus was born just like us. Yet the Bible says, He that, you know, was, you know, made, it was made sin for so that we may be the righteousness of God. He was tempted in every way like we do, yet he knew no sin. Yes, our, our heavenly God, he is perfect. He said, so as your God, Father that is in heaven is perfect, so you must also be perfect. He is a just God. He shows no favoritism because he said he knows what is in the heart of men, even before it manifests deep down in our hearts. You know, when he chose David over Saul, he said, I'm choosing a man after my own heart. Men look at the outward appearance, but God looks into the heart. Thank you, Jesus. And Luke 4, 16, elaborated that on a Sabbath day, he went as in the, into the synagogue, as was his custom. He stood up to read. You know, he, he knew even Jesus, that was the word himself, never neglected the reading of God's word because he said his word is spirit and his life. So the more we read God's word, the more it becomes a life in our lives and all other things that is not of God diminishes. You know, we know that even when the devil met Jesus, after the 40 days prayer and fasting, Jesus actually, you know, um, defended himself with the word of God. And he said, it is written. So it's important that we, we hide the word of God in our heart. David, after so many errors, now came to a place where he could confidently say, thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. That is the God that we serve. He's awesome, he's marvelous, he's wonderful, he's amazing wonderful savior king of kings everlasting father prince of peace he is all knowing he is all powerful he is omniscient he is omnipresent thank you jesus we do not want to neglect the ways of our early you know things um leaders but everything has to apart from obeying early leaders we ought to ultimately submit to the law and ways of God. May the Holy Spirit continue.